November 16th, 2014, week 11 of the NFL season. The 6-3 Indianapolis Colts are hosting the 7-2 New England Patriots. With both teams fresh off a bye and playing well, the stage was set to renew the Patriots vs. Colts epic rivalry. But in this game, it wouldn't be Tom Brady, Julian Edelman, T.Y. Hilton, or Andrew Luck to take over the stat sheet. It would be Jonas Gray. Wait, who the hell is Jonas Gray? That's what I was asking myself. Watching the first quarter, even as a diehard Patriots fan, I'd never even heard of the guy. Jonas Gray was a running back from Pontiac, Michigan. He played his college ball at Notre Dame. His first three years in South Bend, he was a backup, but in his senior year he finally got some playing time, scoring 12 touchdowns, but unfortunately he tore his ACL. Things weren't looking too good for Jonas when he went undrafted in 2013. He bounced around the Dolphins and Ravens practice squads until he made the Patriots practice squad. He saw his first NFL action four weeks prior, against the New York Jets, a game in which he rushed for 12 total yards. He'd even had a solid game. In week 8 against the Chicago Bears, he had 86 yards, but no one expected what he would do to the Colts. Going into the game, the Patriots' primary running back for the year had been Shane Vereen, a mostly receiving back who didn't fit the ground and pound game plan Bill Belichick had drawn up, causing Jonas to be the starter. Or, as Chris Collinsworth would put it, He was going to run where Bill Belichick tells him to run. No ad libbing from him. He started out hot, rushing for 34 yards and a touchdown on the Patriots' first drive. The Patriots and Jonas had set the tone for the game. Took a blow. Hit the marker as well. Look at this now as Gray on third and inch change because they have a couple of bad days. No. We're on the Cincinnati tape on the way home from, from uh, Kansas City. And look at that hole. It's are blowing the Colts off the ball here. Gray again talking about third season. Actually goal from the eight. And main gaining three and five yards. And here he goes again with a little shift to the left and into the end zone for his second touchdown. By halftime, Jonas had rushed for 100 yards and two touchdowns, as the Patriots were manhandling the Colts with no end in sight. Rookie out of Stanford. Here's Gray again, breaking tackles. Gray with some tough. From the 13. Again with a pull up front. Gray. Front one. Give it to Gray. And Gray is going to found. More here. To the outside, Gray. Cuts it back. One of them, and they are pounding these guys. Looking for his third touchdown of the night, and he has it. And they give it to Gray. And Gray for the fourth time tonight. Four touchdowns. Okay, you get the point. The second half was almost identical, with Jonas rushing for another 101 yards and two touchdowns. Jonas finished the game with 37 carries for 201 yards and four touchdowns, capping off one of the biggest one-game wonders in NFL history. Jonas even got the cover of Sports Illustrated for that week, but unfortunately it was all downhill from here. Following the Colts game, the Patriots signed former running back LeGarrette Blunt who had been cut by the Steelers. Blunt immediately took over Jonas's role, demoting him back to backup. Throughout the rest of the season, Gray would only score one more touchdown and have one more game with over 60 yards rushing. Gray was inactive for the divisional round playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens, but he did play in the AFC Championship game against the Colts, gaining four yards, a far cry from his one game wonder. Gray was also inactive for the Super Bowl win against the Seahawks, but he did get a ring. Following the 2014 season, Gray was cut by the Patriots. He had short stints with the Jaguars and Dolphins, but is currently a free agent. Jonas Gray was one of the greatest one-game wonders in all of sports history, going from backup to player of the week to out of the league. He truly was a flash in the pan.